Let's do an exercise. For this picture, learn everything that you can in the next 60 seconds. Your time starts now. Sixty seconds are up. Now start with the second leg of this exercise. Identify the name of the people in this picture. I'm sure most of you would have successfully identified the names of the people in the new picture. This is because when the first picture was shown, you classified the objects as human objects. It's not a picture of a bird. You obviously don't realize it since it's a very fast process for the human brain. But that's the way it works. Next, your brain tried to implicitly learn various attributes or properties about the human objects, Germantina, properties like gender, clothes, skin color, hair, and so on. So, when you were shown the second picture without the name markers, even though the position of the human objects on screen had changed, by comparing the properties learned earlier, like gender, clothes, and so on, with the properties of human objects on screen, you could identify the names accurately. QDB also uses a human-like technology for object identification, during record time, QTP tries to learn properties for a GUI object on which operations is performed. In our example, it will record properties for agent name, password, OK button, and rest of the GUI objects on which operations were performed. During run time, QTP compares the store object properties with the actual properties of the objects available on screen and uniquely identifies an object independent of its location on screen. The store object together with its properties is called the test object. During runtime, the actual object available in the application under test is called the runtime object. This is QTP's test object model. Coming back to our picture, information about it was stored in your brain. Likewise, information about the test objects is stored in object repository. To view the object repository in QTP, click the object repository icon. The object repository dialog box opens. It gives you a list of all the objects learned for the test and the corresponding properties learned for those objects. In the exercise we did earlier, what if I told you in advance that the picture would be of a car? In interim, you can prepare a list of important properties to be noted for a car object. So, when the object is shown to you, you can quickly learn the property values for easy identification later. This is nothing but the concept of add-ins where you are instructing QTP in advance of the nature of object to be recorded so it can reduce the time required to learn its properties.